cultural diversity and leadership expertise filled the room at the annual Randall Lewis Health Policy Fellowship Dinner. This program was created to enhance the skills and knowledge of health professionals who seek to initiate positive change in their communities. The Randall Lewis Health Policy Fellowship is, is about changing the future. It's about creating models and organizations and structures for really health reform. If it's not, not, it's not necessarily going to be about some of the policies in the Affordable Care Act, but it's really about how can, as communities, we begin to create opportunities and structures for people to be engaged in health improvement. Because 75% of our costs are of the healthcare are really affiliated with chronic disease. And so how can we create communities, opportunities um, for people to, to take ownership of their health? And how can we create healthier communities and healthier environments for children to be raised and, and have the opportunity, all of us have equal opportunities for, for health and education. Members of the program include prestigious students enrolled in local universities who were individually selected among competing graduates. One student developed a project specifically related to Health ERC's upstream approach on improving the health of those who live, work, and play in Rancho Cucamonga. Um, so what I did is I conducted a number of key informant interviews with different department heads and also um, leaders within the departments within the city, or throughout the city, I should say. And um, I developed this inventory, which, which is on a Microsoft Word, Excel, I should say, spreadsheet. And it's pretty extensive. It's a lot of policies. And um, from those key informant interviews, I identified that there are currently about 36 policies within the city, um, active policies within the city, that are being implemented uh, that all have the city's health in mind. And um, since this is being used for Healthy RC's evaluation plan, uh, we also identified that about 12 of those policies, of those 36 health policies, were actually influenced by Healthy RC itself. To get involved or gather more information, visit the fellowship's website at p4bhealth.org. Applications for the next fellowship program are now being accepted. Anyone in a graduate program definitely should partake in this type of fellowship, especially Randall Lewis Health Policy Fellowship. Um, it's really been a good experience working in local government. It gives you a different outlook um, on how to impact communities' health and different ways that you can impact communities' health. Health ERC uh, has established policies and programs within the community. Both are very impactful in improving health outcomes. And so I definitely recommend for anyone and any background, um, whether you're in health policy or in health promotion, education, epidemiology, I definitely think working in lo uh, local government and getting that uh, experience with health policy is um, a good one, yeah. We've done this over five years now, and this year we reached our 98th fellow, so next year we'll be celebrating our 100th. This has been a fantastic experience for me just to be part of the program, and I'm thrilled to be able to help these students as they embark on their careers. Thanks for watching this episode of Healthy RC Living. I'm Madison Perry, and we'll see you next time.